Good afternoon. It's Friday, April 7th, 2017. For all Western New York News and Radio, I'm Scott Leffler. More snow showers still possible today with a high near 35 and an overnight low around 30. Saturday will be mostly sunny with a high near 45. What's in the news? The Niagara County Sheriff's Office tells us that Lockport Road in the town of Pendleton is closed between Town Line and Aiken Roads due to a water main break. It'll remain closed until further notice. We'll let you know on allwesternnewyorknews.com when it reopens. Congressman Brian Higgins is inviting local high school students to participate in the annual Congressional Art Competition. All artwork submitted from students in Congressman Higgins' district will be featured in a public gallery and available for viewing online. The winning piece will be displayed in a tunnel to the U.S. Capitol. Read all the details at allwesternnewyorknews.com. U.S. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand said that the chemical attacks by the Assad regime in Syria are, quote, unconscionable atrocities that needed a firm response, but warned that unilateral military action by the U.S., quote, causes grave concern and questions if the Trump administration has a plan to address the aftermath of Thursday's bombings. Wheatfield Justice Aaron P. DeLabio has received the unanimous support of the Niagara County Republican Party's Executive Committee in her bid for Niagara County Family Court Judge in this year's upcoming election in November. DeLabio is running for the seat being vacated by retiring Judge John Batt. New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman led a coalition of 16 attorneys general in filing an amicus brief with the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit, challenging an Ohio state law that would defund Planned Parenthood and other health service providers that perform or promote abortions. The attorneys general argue that the Ohio law violates the First Amendment and Due Process Clause because the law imposes an unconstitutional condition on state grants. Police News New York State Police are holding a crackdown on distracted driving as part of April's National Distracted Driving Awareness Month. The crackdown, called Operation Hang-Up, is a special enforcement effort to step up patrols and checkpoints targeting drivers on electronic devices. It began Thursday and runs through Monday. A 31-year-old registered sex offender was arrested by New York State troopers on Wednesday and charged with two new felony crimes. State police say that Donald G. Howe Jr., age 31, was previously registered as a level 2 sex offender in New York State. He was charged Wednesday with failure to update his address and second-degree forgery for providing false information to the state sex offender registry. Jorge Quinones, age 39, of Buffalo, who was convicted of possession with intent to distribute and distribution of heroin, was sentenced to 151 months in prison. In addition, Jose Rivera, age 35, also of Buffalo, was sentenced to 120 months in prison for his conviction on a charge of conspiracy to possess with intent to distribute and distribute heroin. Prosecutors say that the defendants were associates of a gang known as the Luisa Boys, which had been distributing heroin and cocaine in Buffalo. Sports! According to ESPN, a person with direct knowledge of Kyle Ocposo's condition says the Buffalo Sabres forward is showing signs of improvement from an undisclosed illness that has hospitalized him for the past five days. The Sabres, however, remain mum on the topic. Buffalo has two games left in the 2016-2017 season, which they'll play on Saturday and Sunday, both in Florida. Today, Corey comments on healthcare. After the 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. news and podcast later. Tonight's Live from the Archive was recorded 11 years ago today, April 7th, 2006, at Gonzo's in Lockport. It features Lower Town Trio and The Brotherhood. Listen in at 9 p.m. Okay, that's the news for all Western New York news and radio. I'm Scott Leffler. Have a great day.